I got a lot of phone calls and emails on the scopes that are included with crossbows. Uh, some of them require different little tips and tricks uh, to make them work, but there's a lot of commonality between these, and I'm going to go over a few of the more basic questions and things about them so that you guys have a better understanding on them. Um, one of the biggest things we get problems with is people buying scopes that have a lock ring on the adjustment collars and they'll call up and say I can't move the speed ring on these. These have a lock on which you you slide them forward. It'll click, now you can adjust them and once you tune it to the speed you want, bring it back to snap in place so you don't bump them. A lot of them are still available where there is no lock on it and you can just turn them as you need to. Most all of these are going to have a pin in them. You'll see a little screw in them. That's nothing more than to keep it from overextending or underextending it, not to lock it into place. If you try to tighten that screw, you're going to break the scope. So once you on these ones without a lock, once you tune it to the speed you want, just leave it alone. Another thing is going to be the illumination. On illuminated scopes, there's three caps. The top one and the right side one is going to be your windage and elevation adjustments. Your illumination is this side here. Generally, one turn will turn on one color, one turn the other direction will turn the other. If you make sure you turn them off at the end of the day, your battery will last you forever. However, if you do find that the battery dies, you need to change it. The cap that's on it unscrews, and underneath the cap is a standard every, average everyday 2032 watch battery you can pick up at any hardware store or convenience store. All you do is pop a new battery, screw the cap back on, you're back in business. And be aware, they tend to be fairly tight because it's an O-ring seal. So make sure you snug it up so you don't get water in there. Your windage and elevation turrets on these. I need the cap. Top one's going to be for your elevation. Side one's going to be for your windage, left and right. They are marked with an up or a left and right on the side and an arrow. That up with the arrow this direction is the direction you want to turn this so that you're moving the arrow in that direction. So for example, if I'm hitting low and I want to bring the arrow up, I'm going to turn it in the up direction. A lot of them are going to be different amount of distance on the clicks. These particular ones in the market says one click is a half inch at 100 yards. So that means one click at 20 yards does absolutely nothing noticeable. It's not unusual to have to go full revolutions at 20 yards to get your crossbow arrow to hit where you want it to be on the target. So don't be afraid to turn it where you need to. And again, when you're done, make sure you put them back on snugly. Don't over tighten them. There again, there's usually a gasket seal at the bottom to keep water from getting in. Another problem we have is people will complain that <clears throat> the uh, crosshairs are fuzzy, they can't see them, they're too small. 99% of the time, the scope's not focused. These do not come focused to your eye from the factory. To focus them, you pull off the rear flip-up cover. This dial back here in the very end is a focus knob. You're going to want to basically turn that until the crosshairs are nice and sharp. The best way to do that is to set it up so you're about 20 yards away from a white or a light gray surface, look through the scope, and adjust the focus till the crosshairs and the numbers are nice and sharp. You're basically done at that point. That's called a fast focus ring, so you can focus it so you get everything nice and sharp, and you shouldn't have to touch it after that. You can fine tune the focus for downrange if you want, but that's the big keys underneath here. The XB30 Pro scope is a little different. First off, that's the end towards the end of the bow. This is the part towards your eye. We get the phone call every now and then where people are saying, I'm seeing a very, very small field of view. There's not much light. Everything's upside down. They're looking through the wrong end. Happens. These flip-up covers on these are aluminum. They are a little tight when they're new. There's two little tabs on them. You hear that snap, and they line up into the holes in the bottom. They are screw-headed. You don't take them out to flip open the covers. You basically just give it a good tug. You do that 10 or 15 times, it's much easier to do. This one here does the same thing. To adjust the focus, you're going to want to turn the ring. The downside is when you do that, your flip-up cover turns with it. Included with the scope, these tools. There's a small one for the front and a big one for the rear. 
There's two little notches here. You take the tool, line it up in the notches, and give it a counterclockwise twist. Now you can loosen up the flip cover. You can adjust your focus where you need to, readjust the cover so it's straight up and down. Once you get it where you want to, put it back in the tool, snug it down, ready to go. Nice and simple.